Hi guys, so as promised, I am going to put up a haul today. Um, I do have some non-business related stuff to show you guys. Wow, my tea just got on me. Sorry, I look really bad. Um, I'm on spring break, so I really don't care how I look. So I'm just kind of looking a little relaxed. Um, but I'm just going to get into this. So I actually did get five nail polishes, and basically... I love these kind of nail polishes. These are fairly cheap, so they're not like Essie nail polishes, which I've kind of fallen out of love with, and I'm not like saying that I don't love Essie nail polishes, because I do, but I just hate how they chip so quickly, even with a top coat on. Um, but anyway, so these are sinful colors, and I don't know. I'm like really into blues lately, obviously, but I did get five colors. This one's in black on black, and this is just a black. Um, I'm just... I got this not to paint my nails with, well, to paint my nails with, but more of like, um, like design wise. Angel, you smell like, <laughs> my dog smells like she just came in from outside because she got a bath. Really gross. But, um, this is just to like do designs on my nails. Like, you see I have white, but I just got this so I can do design, designs. Um, I got this color 24-7. I heard a lot about it and I really wanted like a neon color for the, um, summer because I will be at the beach quite often so I got this um next I got is kissy and I actually really love this color it's like a emerald almost well actually I think it is kind of like an emerald it has like gold blue and like turquoise specks in it and it's absolutely gorgeous so I got that um and then I got this a gorgeous cold cobalt blue that's all my nails right now. Um, I probably will end up taking it off sometime soon. But it is called Endless Endless Blue. And I believe all these nail polishes are $1.98. But it's so gorgeous. Um, the color is probably like true to color. True, true like in the bottle. Because I know like if you paint your nails it sometimes it can show up a different color. So um, <laughs> I would say it's pretty true to what it is. And then last but not least um, I have Savage and Matte. It's like a matte nail polish. And I didn't know this, but Simple Colors puts if their nail polish is matte or not on the actual label. And I was like kind of baffled. I was like, why are these like matte? Because I have another one that's matte. And I don't know if it says it on the bottle, but I know this one is. Actually, I really like that because it's kind of convenient. Um, I don't regret buying this though. Don't get me wrong. Because you can easily make a matte nail polish not matte um, by putting a top coat over it. But yeah, that's what it looks like. So now into the business haul. The business haul, I'm doing one because I did get an internship, so I'm stocking up on all this business clothing. Um, I just did get my package in the mail, and it I don't know why they put it in this big box, because really it's only four items, and it's like, there's like one pair of shoes, and then the rest is like a cover-up and two dresses, so I don't know why they put it in like such a big box, like it was something really important. Um, but anyway, so... I'm going to get into it, and I feel like business hauls, like, I don't see enough of them on YouTube when I do watch YouTube videos. So I want to put this up because business wear is probably the most, it's like the staple clothing, well, form of staple clothing, I don't know how you want to put it, that you should have in your wardrobe because you never know what's going to come across you that you might need something very nice to wear, um, or if you're going to get a job or if someone wants to offer you a job. And you never know if you're going to have, like, the money to go out and buy clothes or whatnot. So, I mean, even, I mean, I know some businesses, even for an internship, you don't have to dress up because this is an internship. But with the, ooh, Angel, is that comfortable? But the, with the internship I'm doing, it's the clientele that, um, I guess I'm being introduced to and what I want to major in is very, 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 you have to, like, dressing to impress, literally. Um, other than that, like, knowledge base, of course you have to impress that way, but dressing to impress in the field I'm going to in, going to in, the field that I'm going in is highly needed, so it is, like, dressing up or not dressing up, so I know some, I know I've been talking to someone, and he said that he got an intern, well, he's offered an internship, and his internship is more relaxed clothing, but mine is more, like, high-class clothing. So, um, what I got is kind of like casual, but it's kind of like businessy. So, um, and I do, am doing my internship during the summer, but I will go over why you should have some staple clothing in your, um, wardrobe. So, getting into it, I got some, oh, 
this has dog hair on it because my dog just laid on it. But going, I went to Target and I'm just gonna jump right into this. And I got um three dresses, and one shirt. Then I got two dresses from J C Penney. But anyway, so I got this dress, and this is more like a casual business dress. Um, being that I am only 17, I didn't want to go over the top. And I did have my interview, so something like this is pretty appropriate. So, I'm sorry, it's like clouded out. But anyway, so it's like this, it's a dress. It's high-low, kind of. I mean, there's really not that much to it. And it's just pleated bottom, and it's just this really simplistic floral design. And then the top is just a t-shirt material. So something like this is, you want to make sure things aren't too tight. So something like this is definitely flattering. And maybe if I want to go, well, when I go in, and I don't feel like really dressing up, but I am still dressing up, I will have this as like kind of like a backup, I guess you could say. But this is dressing up. And I'll probably have to end up wearing like a cardigan over it because of who I'm going to be like interning with and meeting and whatnot. So... I have to look very uh to myself so next dress i got is pretty businessy um this is also from target it is the this prabal grunge dress i don't know um and it's just as you see it cinches in at the waist naturally um it has just these different colors and this floral design and it is sleeveless so i will have to wear a jacket over it because it is in the summer so and it is business attire so that's that and it's very flattering on surprisingly um next i got this kind of fun looking dress but it also is businessy and i will have to wear again um a cardigan with it but it's just this like fun kind of i don't know weird material um it is high low severely high low but um as you can see it has like this blue um like under part i don't know what you want to call that like blue chiffon under it and like I said, it is strap. I mean, it is, um, there's no strap, so, I mean, no sleeves, so I will have to wear a cover up. But that's what that looks like. And it does cinch in at the waist. And you want something that's flattering, but not too tight, because you are going to be dressing up and you don't want to look like a hoochie going to work. So, next thing I got is a shirt. And of course, I'll have to wear a cardigan again. Just repetitive. Like, keep it, like, if I'm repeating things, just. Take it for what it's worth because it's important, okay? So, it's this Peter Pan top shirt, whatever you want to say. And it's just chiffon, I guess this is what you would call it. It's a little high-low, not really. Um, and it's simplistic. So, I would wear an undershirt under this and a cardigan with it. With some khakis or some black pants. Um, probably khakis. Next, I'm just trying to whiz through this. Next thing I got are these uh, Liz Claiborne shoes. This should be all black. Oh, okay. These are good. These are perfect. So, they are um, these black flats, and it has silver on the top. So, they're kind of like versatile. Well, it's like a gunmetal um, color. So, um, this is what it looks like. And so, any neutral or black flat is perfect for the workplace because it can go with anything that's really universal. So I got that, and I believe these were $22, I'm not sure. And then, um, what else? Wait, let me look at the receipt. I'm just trying to go through this, so, um, oh, they were $25. Yeah, they were $25 with tax, it's $134. Okay, so, next thing I got is a dress, and this dress is, what color? It says it's a neon, it's like a royal neon, and this is like, a very silky material um this was $22 with a dollar 17 for tax whoa this is confusing okay so this looks a little weird but it's actually pretty cute um so you see it has cutouts in the neck and if you have something that has cutouts in it be sure that it doesn't reveal too much cleavage and if it does you're just gonna end up having to button it oh like safety pin it but um this in the back as you can see it's it like has a cutout but this controls how much is being revealed in the front so make sure that you're very conservative um but other than this it cinches in at the waist it creates like that kind of like rippled effect as you can see and it kind of like creates layers so it's pretty flattering and it's kind of cute and with this i wouldn't have to wear a cover-up but i probably would just in case um, it is a little revealing and risque, but other than that, that's what that looks like. And you just want to make sure that you have something very conservative 
um, and nothing too tight because you don't want to be looking like a hoochie and sending off the wrong signals to people. Next dress is this peach colored dress. Oh, what the heck? Okay, and this was $28. I think some of this was actually on... Oh, no, just kidding. It was originally $35, but I got it for $28 because it was on sale. Um, ooh, this is so cute. I will definitely have to wear a, um, a, uh, back. I mean, a, uh, what is it called? A, uh, I know, just kidding. It has a cutout back, but I'll have to wear a cardigan with this because of how cut out the back is. But it's just this really cute, um, dress. And it, I will have to iron it, obviously, but it looks like this. And it's peach, and it comes with this, I think it's brown. Yeah, this brown bow belt, but it looks black. Is that brown? I think I'm going colorblind. It's like a really dark brown. And so this would be really cute with like a neutral pair of flats um, that may have some black on it. And then it's pleated and it just looks like that. And that's really cute. Oh my god. JCPenney is really good to go shopping for this kind of stuff. So definitely look at JCPenney. Um, last but not least, this was $16. Um, and this is just a really simplistic hat. Like cardigan. Well, it's not even a cardigan. It's like a crop topped short sleeve cardigan. It's just black for it. And it's like really washing everything out. But that's what it looks like. So um, I know this is really rushed, but I didn't want to go over my time because I know I can blab. But um, if I, I probably will end up getting more for this like business attire, like pants wise, because I didn't really get a lot of pants. Obviously, I didn't get any. Um, so when that comes up, I will definitely put something on about that. And sorry, I'm like awkwardly drowning in this sweater. But, um, I hope you guys enjoyed and look forward to a birthday haul next week because my birthday is next week on Tuesday. So, yay! But if I, if it doesn't go up right away, please forgive me because I will be missing school on Monday, um, which is the 8th. But other than, because we go back to school on the 8th. But, um, and my birthday is on Tuesday, so I might have a little bit piled up of work, but I hardly doubt it because it'll probably just be notes, and I hardly ever have homework, so, yay! So, um, my senior year is coming to an end, and I hope you guys enjoyed this really brief haul. I know it wasn't much, but, I mean, it kind of, if you guys want more business advice, I can definitely give you guys some input. I know I haven't really been in the business field, but my parents, from what I've learned from my parents and also from my school, because they have really good... Because we have like a, a world of work, world, it's like some workshop, world of work. And you basically have a mock interview. And so I can definitely give you some tips that I've learned from school. And I hope you guys really did enjoy this video. Um, if you have any like suggestions, leave them down below. And I will try and put all the information of how much everything was. It may not still be on sale, sadly. Or it may still be on sale. So um, definitely go check it out. And... I hope you guys enjoyed, um, and yeah, so bye.